Good morning, everybody. Off to start again. Uh, I'm at the yard at the moment. I really, I never do videos first thing in the morning, so I'm always cracking to get running. But I'm a little bit early, and I thought I want to get this one down because um, I nearly messed up yesterday. <clears throat> We're doing. We started running our own drivers. It's to do. There are three things on the um, the exchange. There's owner driver, then enterprise, and there's enterprise plus. They offer three packages. And as this bill becomes clear to me, I will do videos on it. It's a way for all you owner drivers out there if you want to expand your business. You can if you've got an uncle or a cousin, you can, but that's another video. Anyway, so we got these drivers on board, and um, I had a multi drop I was picking up in a nice one actually, picking up from Milton Keynes, take to Cambridge, swap the pallets back to a different place in Milton Keynes. Um, and then I pulled, I had to get fuel, so I put petrol station in, I had a stop, and as I pulled into petrol station, one of the drivers had broken down, so I had to phone the guy, it, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's more money, but it's a lot more aggro. Um, I had to phone the guys, he had two jobs on board, I had to phone both, uh, two jobs to pick up, cancel both of his jobs for him, <clears throat> and then another job come through and I couldn't work out who, had to, who, who to allocate it to, and yeah, finally got it all sorted, and I'd also bought a job off a of market MPD to pick up again in Milton Keynes, and take up the Derby. So, I've got to me pick up at Coca-Cola in Milton Keynes, Yeoman's Road, which ironically enough was where I picked up first thing in the morning, and just as I'm about to pull in, I thought, I don't remember dropping that second pallet. I've done the, I remember the exchange, but I don't remember, where did I drop it off? And then it dawned on me, the reason I didn't remember dropping it off was because I hadn't dropped it off. <laughs> it's still in the back of the motor, I'm like, oh God, and I'm at Coke now, what do I do? So I went in, Picked up the machine from Coke, then went to drop the pallet in Milton Keynes, which was lucky because it was five minutes down the road, and then went to Derby to drop the Coke machine. Told Mark he was fine, everything's fine. Um, but if it had been left the petrol station, if my next pickup had been sort of like London to go to Bournemouth on the hurry up, <coughs> I'd got to London, opened up the back door and then realised I still had a pallet on board and then I'd have been in trouble. Now, it did happen to me once, and my mate makes it, it's less haste, more speed. Because I, I happened once, I had to, uh, I picked up three pallets, two to go to Waltham Abbey, <clears throat> and then one that got down and roundabout. <clears throat> and then, um, I booked another job. Because on my way to Denham Roundabout, I said, I'm 10 minutes away from dropping. As soon as I drop this one, I'll pick that one up. It was Epsom to Pitstone, which is brilliant for me because Pitstone's just down the road. And then, after Pitstone, I had a booked-in job to pick up a kidney machine. Anyhow, I dropped me one, I've dropped my pallet at um, Wolfham Abbey. I've gone to Denham. I dropped the two pallets, and the bloke goes, no, he says, I haven't got two. I've just got one. I went, no, 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 you've got two. Looked on it. Two to Wolfham Abbey, one to Denham. I'm like, oh. So that was three quarters. And what I had to do, I'm thinking, what well, do I cancel the job? And what about the kidney machine? And I had to do some quick maths. And I went, if I'm, if I'm efficient, I can do it. So I had to drive from Denham all the way back to Wolfram Abbey, drop the pallet I missed, then drive from Wolfram Abbey all the way over to Epsom to pick up the job to take to Pitstone, drop the job in Pitstone, got to Newport Panel just in time to pick up the kidney machine. So what I'm saying is, guys, sometimes particularly if you've got more than one job on board, five minutes, five minutes before you do the job, before you put it into the sat-nav, double check it, treble check it, does the road name of the sat-nav marry up to the, the postcode of the sat-nav? Otherwise you put the postcode in, bang, 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 fly off, and you go, oh, hang on a second, I'm in Sheffield and I'm supposed to be in Stevenage or something like that. Maybe not as bad as that, you know. Um, but sometimes you can find you 15 minutes away because you did QB rather than BQ. Um, when you're dropping, just take five minutes. Is it all there? Have I dropped everything? There's no little box or anything, because otherwise you can get an hour down the road and the guy goes, oh, we've just had a call from a customer, where's the box? So you jump in the back of the van, you find the box, you've got to go back and forward again. It's another two hours, like, you know? So, and also... The danger is if, you, if you're co-loading, co-loading is great, particularly if you can, it's a good way to make extra money. But I wouldn't recommend, unless it's like an organised multi-drop, like the use and multi-drops, where I do like um, eight or ten drops, but they're all in order, and they're all expected, and they're all sometime today, not like has to be there as soon as possible. More than two, the more co-loads you take on, the more stress you put on yourself.
If you've got two, that's okay, because once you get one off, you're back to normally onto one. You've got three, four, it gets kind of crazy. And of course, if you break down with, or something goes wrong with four on board, you're going to upset four people. If it breaks down with one on board, you only upset one. So I'm not, I do do it, because there's money in it. But at the same time, be wary and be careful. And just an extra five minutes before you start, an extra five minutes when you're finished, in the long run, can save you a ton of time. Do I adhere to this rule? Pretty much no. I pretty much go 100 miles an hour all the time and then make mistakes, but I'm trying not to because I, like you guys, or some of you guys, are still learning. That's attractive, by the way. I'm at the farm. Um, right, that's today's report from Pete, the career driver, the man on the farm. Hope it helps. Hope you're all doing the thing. Take care, take money.